Optic Texas for the big win. And a matter of fact, I'm speaking of them, we have an interview with the king himself. It's gonna be scumpy. Let's get him up on the screen. Yo, Seth, dog, you guys did it. My question wow. to you. <laughs> Look at that. He wants to bust that smile out. Hey, yo, Seth, all right. You know, I want to compare and ask you, you know, what's the difference like having General from Illy, but, you know, scratch that. General deserves a spotlight. How much did he help this team out in a win like this against FaZe? I mean, it's a huge difference. Uh, Jordan plays a literally completely different role than Ender. So we've been just trying to make him comfortable within our system. Um, and I mean, that's obviously showed in the Florida match. We had probably about like eight maps total played with Jordan. So it was pretty tough because we played our first match with Ender, just throwing Jordan back in after not practicing with them for a couple days. Uh, but he's really meshed well. He's, he's doing really well on the comms. He's directing a lot of traffic as well. Um, so he's just been really great so far. And, you know, we're just trying to build on whatever we can at this point, you know, until Ender gets back to healthy. So uh, it was a big win. I don't know how we did it, but here we are. <laughs> a little bit of a two-part question for you. One, I have to ask, the play on the hard point, when you were making the pinch onto P1, were you coming to your team? Were you trying to get the timing right? Like, that is what broke the hill and ended up giving you guys that dub. It was a huge play for you to play it patiently, wait for the opportune time to make that push. And then on the flip side, not having Ender in comms, has it been kind of a toss-up on who's making the play calls, or has anybody really stepped up? Nah, it's a, it's definitely a, a collaboration of all of us pitching in whenever we need to. Uh, Ender definitely did the heavy lifting in that aspect, I would say, whenever we were playing with him. But now that he's not on the team, I mean, we kind of still did it with him on the team, but now it's like extra. We're all putting in a little bit more communication. Um, but yeah, the pinch play, I, I don't really know what happened. Kind of blacked out for a second, and I was just saying, I, I have a pinch, I have a pinch, which I didn't even know if I had a pinch because I saw one cross, and I thought he was going to hold the pinch, but I just got a good timing, so it worked out. Seth, I gotta ask you, man, how? Like, what are you, what is the game plan coming into a series like this? You have a substitute player, you're going up against your rival that you had battles with throughout this season. So, what's the game plan coming into this? Knowing, do you think you just have to win both search and destroys? What are you guys talking about leading up to this match? Uh, I mean, we kept saying we got a Nez low in 2 3 5, but we, had, we actually ended up winning a hard point. Um, so we just thought we were going to have to get through. I mean, after first map especially, we got 100 points. So we thought we were just going to have to win the searches and the control. We came out hot in the first round of the control, and I started I started making some weird noises. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we, we got the hard point. We just we just needed one one respawn. I mean, that's basically that's basically how we're going to go in to all of our series. I mean, one respawn and our search is hopefully going to carry us through. Hey, Scum, congrats on the big win. That was phenomenal. We were going crazy in the green room, man. We'll catch you next time. And, um, hey, shout out to the green wall. You guys are fantastic. Hey, thank y'all. Have a good day. Oh, good job, man. <laughs>